This training video provides an overview and the installation steps for the Avigilon Unity H6 Mini Dome Outdoor Camera. This camera model provides a wide field of view, precise imaging, and AI power insights, all from a single point of view. It offers advanced features, such as notifications for unauthorized activity and built-in IR for both indoor and outdoor variants. Important safety information is detailed in the camera installation guide. The installation guide can be downloaded from the Avigilon website. Before installation, please consult the installation guide and the series of supplementary videos. The supplementary videos overview important steps for video analytic cameras, such as pre-configuration, configuring SD cards, mounting and aiming the camera, and more. This camera can be installed in two ways, a surface mount or a pendant mount, allowing for maximum versatility. This training video will provide an overview of the steps to mount the camera using a surface mount. The pendant mount option is outlined in the installation guide. Ensure the camera package is intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. Ensure the package contains the Avigilon H6 Mini Dome Outdoor Camera, a surface mounting template sticker, a mounting plate, a cable boot, a wall anchoring kit, and a quick start guide. To complete the installation, ensure you have a Phillips screwdriver, a small slotted screwdriver, a drill with the appropriate drill bits, a wire cutter, and an RJ45 crimp tool. These tools are not included in the package. This camera can be pre-configured in its shipping box. Access the RJ45 connector through the flap on the side of the box. For more details, please refer to the supplementary video or the camera's installation guide. First, let's overview the mounting plate. In the following segment, let's mount the mounting plate on a wall. The mounting plate is installed through an entry hole at the rear of the base. This is an ideal solution for surfaces that can be easily drilled into and for which the cables should be kept out of sight. First, use the mounting template sticker to drill two mounting holes into the surface for the mounting screws. Then drill the cable entry hole into the mounting surface. The mounting template sticker may be discarded. Place the supplied plastic anchors into the mounting holes. Next, position the mounting plate and secure it with the provided screws. Next, let's take a look at the camera module. The camera comes with a built-in port that allows you to connect it to a network. The following segment will overview the steps to connect the cables. First, pull the required cables through the mounting surface and the rear cable entry hole. Thread the rubber protective boot onto the Ethernet cable. Terminate the Ethernet cable with an RJ45 connector. Then, plug the Ethernet cable into the provided power over Ethernet port. If the RJ45 cable provides power over Ethernet, the link LED indicator will turn on once a network link has been established. Next, slide the rubber boot over the Ethernet cable. Push the cable back into the wall and ensure it is fully seated. Next, press the dome camera base firmly against the mounting plate. Use the star-shaped screwdriver to drive the two screws into the mounting holes, fastening the dome camera to the mounting plate. In the following segment, let's insert the micro SD card into a micro SD card slot. It is recommended that the card has a write speed class of 10 or better. If the card does not meet the recommended write speed, the recording performance may suffer, resulting in a loss of frames or footage. To insert a micro SD card, position the card as shown. Gently push the card into its slot. The insertion of the micro SD card is spring loaded. Do not use excessive force, or the card and the camera may be damaged. Access the camera's web interface to enable the onboard storage feature. For more details, see the installation guide or the supplementary video. To configure the cameras directly from the video management software, use the Avigilon Unity Video Client software or Avigilon Control Center. For more information on configuring the camera, see the installation guide. Let's position the camera. Reference the camera's live stream as you aim the camera. Turn the lens to the correct direction by panning and tilting the lens. To set the image to the correct angle, adjust the azimuth control ring. Then, access the camera's web browser interface or software and adjust the camera's image and display settings. For more information on this topic, consult the installation guide. When installing the camera, follow the mounting and aiming recommendations to maximize the camera's analytics capabilities. Next, let's overview the dome cover. Note that it is recommended to connect to the camera and adjust the aim, zoom, and focus before installing the dome cover. 
In the next segment, let's review the steps for installing the dome cover. Be careful not to touch or scratch the dome bubble as marks or fingerprints on the dome bubble may cause unwanted reflections from the IR illuminators. First, align the camera slot with the dome cover slot, as highlighted by the start label here. Next, gently slide the dome cover over the camera toward the label with the padlock symbol. Be careful not to force the joint. The cover is closed only by turning the cover in the track marked by the labels. Then remove the labels on the camera base. If the device no longer functions as expected, it can be reset to its factory default settings. The reset button is located here. For models with an SD card slot, resetting the camera does not affect the video recorded to the SD card. Refer to the supplementary video or the installation guide for in-depth instructions on resetting the camera to factory default settings. Once the camera has been reset, screw the dome cover back into place. This completes the overview and installation steps for the Avigilon Unity H6 Mini Dome Outdoor Camera.